18 days, 18 days without a video. I am so sorry, sheep fans. I've been away up north of Scotland scanning sheep and just not had access to facilities to make videos. And I've been having a few drams at night and a bit of crack with the people I was staying with. We're home now, a bit of catching up to do. Here's the first one. Good morning sheep fans, Cammy's the name, sheep's the game, it's 2021. Today we're back at these cheviots, I previously did a video card up here of me moving the cheviots from one side of the road to the other onto a fresh bit of grass. That grass is fair eaten up now and I have good grass sitting for them. So the plan today with myself, Lizzie, the two dogs and new puppy Fern, we're going to go gather the cheviots up, get them on the trailer Get them shifted, that's little Fern shouting because she's tied up and not happy. I'll show you, I'll show you her just now. Fern, why are you so miserable? I know, you don't like being tied up, you have to get used to it. You can't, you can't just run about all the time, right here. I hear you. Right, there you go. Right. Shouldn't just give in to them like that, they, they have to learn that they sometimes they need to stay where they're meant to stay. But she's too cute. Oh I hear you, I hear you, but you need to just behave while I'm talking on the camera. Hey, absolute clickbait this isn't it? Everyone loves a little pup. Right, this is Lizzie's pup by the way. Anyway, let's get the pen set up, get the sheep loaded and get them to this next bite of grass. Those of you that saw my earlier video of these ewes will know that they are North Country Cheviots. The North Country Cheviot is a very hardy breed and is very common up the north of Scotland where grazing is a lot rougher and conditions are pretty tough through the winter. Now I had great plans here to send Meg round these sheep and bring them back down towards me. However, Little Fern had other ideas and I got totally distracted watching her run through the sheep and by the time I picked the drone back up, this is where we were. So you see little Fern there, trotting along behind after deciding the sheep weren't coming back towards us. They were instead going through this gate and round the long way. But that's fine. It's good to see her so keen. decide to stop at this section here and after a little bit of negotiation with them and Meg she finally gets some moving again and we end up a little bit split up here but we regroup and now the tricky part is getting them in those gates. I did bring probably two or three gates less than I should have which just made life a little bit more difficult so let's watch us go back and forth here trying to squeeze these sheep into this pen. Now this is the critical point whenever you're penning sheep. When those front ones just won't go into the pen, you need to be patient and wait for them to go. And while we do that, one of the blackies breaks past us because we switched off for a second. These things happen. We send Meg round to try and salvage the situation. As you see, Sky is about as much use as a chocolate watch and Meg is working away there fine herself. And as we bring her back round, I'm hoping she'll see the way round 
but that's obviously not the case. So Meg just keeps holding her up, hoping she will. She then starts coming towards Meg, so I egg Meg on a little bit more than I should have, and this happens. They have a little standoff, but as you see, Meg is not one for giving up. She holds on for dear life and manages to bring her back round towards the pen. Now this time, I'm a bit more cautious and I just ask Meg to stand off, let her find her own way or else we'll be standing here arguing all day. So if you just give the sheep time, she'll suss out, she's not getting past Meg and they're in the pen is the only option. And now we can pen these up, get them on the trailer. There is 80 or so in this lot, so that's going to be two runs with this Ifa Williams trailer. Really 40, 50 of these is plenty on that trailer, especially with the icy roads as they are in this video. So that's the sort of first half loaded, just whatever ran on there, no idea how many. Next problem is we're on a really icy bit, so I need to try and get the pickup out of here with the sheep loaded on. It won't be so easy. Lizzie might need to give me a push. So after burning a little bit of rubber, we get the trailer on the move and make our way to this new fresh bit of grass. As you can see there the roads are quite icy that we're on and I'm just trying to take my time and avoid jackknifing the trailer, something which I've already done three times this winter. What's going on here? You might be asking. Well, we had a little breakout, but luckily she stays with the rest of the group and we managed to get them loaded while she waits handily nearby, ready to just be popped back in here. As simple as that. And we get the rest of the sheep loaded and off to the fresh grass. Obviously, we have another little play around in the snow and ice, try to drag ourselves out of this same situation. But the old Navarra manages it again. My tyres are absolutely shocking for the snow. So that's the sheep working away there in the background. You'll see them with the drone shots here, settling into their new bit of ground. There has been no sheep on this since March last year. So no sheep for virtually 10 months. So it's a nice fresh bite. There's some cattle on it in the summer and it's been left to rest and prepare for these yows coming up here. I'm actually a little bit understocked here. Could do another 20 or 30 of these in there. We'll see what happens within lamb sales. I might try and pick up some Cheevets if they're going at a reasonable rate. That's the end of this one, guys. I thought I'd just do another wee short snappy one, moving some sheep around. I know you guys like me to keep the videos coming out regular, so that's what I'm trying to do. Hope you clicked the subscribe button, gave the video a thumbs up, and myself, Lizzie, and the team. We'll see you for the next one. Cheers.